Senshi European title. This is Bulgaria facing Slovenia. Atanas Boshilov faces Samo Petje. And I'm joined with Francisco Filio for the commentary of this epic matchup. Hello, everyone. Let's go. Well, Atanas Boshilov making his 21st appearance in the Senshi ring this evening. An absolute seasoned veteran, not just of kickboxing, but of Senshi appearances. But he's facing Samo Petje, who's so got a fantastic Petje record. Didn't come for play. Well, he's very serious. Nice kid. Samo's been here four times before, and I've got a soft spot for Slovenia. Yeah, and very solid. I won't go into the details here, but listen, I've watched Samo Petje for a long time. There's some stiff punches there from Boshilov. Oh, that was a stiff body kick. Right. Well, as I say, I've watched Samo Petje for years. I refereed him many years ago. I've commentated on his fights and I've announced him as well. He's an absolutely lovely guy, but he came here this, today in probably the best shape I've ever seen him. Absolutely ripped to shreds. And he looks very fox focused. Absolutely. He's got great Muay Thai credentials. He was the FFC champion and he defended his title five times. Good, they can see that he kicks a lot, but should follow with punches. Start with punches and then go through the kicks. But like I'm white, I always kicky, kicky, kicking, right? Yeah, they kick a lot. And I've noticed there's a little something that's particular to Slovenian kickboxers. In a kickboxing fight, they will kick the forearms of their opponents. Yeah, exactly, I just saw that right now. Yeah, and actually, I think he's looking for that, for the, for the, for the arm. Yeah. And it, it tires the arms. Oh, lovely avoidance of a punch there. And again. Nice, nice. Petje reading Boshilov's work. And Boshilov should, should keep doing this, keep it close fight. Otherwise, if he get distance, the guy's gonna kick. See, that's his game. That's his game, he must stay, stay close. Well, the end of the first round there, which wow. I will have to give without favoritism to Samo Petje in he the red corner. Very good. He started very good, actually, yeah. And it's, it's interesting that those kicks he was landing, I don't know, probably 10 of them landed stiffly to the forearms of Boshilov. And it makes your arms heavy and it makes them drop. And if that's part of his game plan, making Boshilov's arms heavy, dropping them, if maybe he's setting up a high kick, I don't know. But Boshilov, we know his credibility. Yeah, but if I, were, if I was Boshilov corner, I would say to come close to him and so avoid those kicks. Yes, close the range. Yeah, exactly. Both these fighters in supreme condition. Yeah, you see, he just avoid the key. That was a good tactic. Avoid the high kick, return with a low kick. That was a nice combination, combination from Petier and avoids the punch again, ducking under it. But if Boshilov starts to read that, he may fake the punch and, la and then throw a knee, which could be very dangerous. There's that high kick again from Petier. 
what I wish to see is some more punchy combination, body and face. Usually they just go to the body or just go to the face. Upstairs, downstairs, yep. Yeah. The one thing I'll say about Petier's style is when I watch him, sometimes his feet come close together, which looks like he should be off balance. I see, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Well, this is the first time I've seen Boshilov not dominate his opponent here. He started really strong, but now uh, Atanas finds his rhythm as well, so he's going forward all the time. Short distance, he should keep the short distance if he wants to win. Somebody's gum shields come out. Petty there, he's going to pick it up, whack it back in. He's <laughs> not going to waste any time. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, I knew he was going to do this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice left hand there from Boshilov. But Petty took it well. And that was, that was directly after what you said about a combination to the body and the head. I mean, the pace is non-stop. Both fighters really good in shape. Well, the condition is unquestionable. And there's that. Oh, it's that beautiful, beautiful to watch yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice right hand there from Boshilov. Yeah, but then he's combined with body punch. Wow. That's the end of the round. Wow, 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 what a fight. Goodness me, what wow. a fight. Absolutely non-stop action. And like you said, Francisco, their conditioning is unquestionable. Um, now I gave the first round to the red corner, but who am I going to give the second round to? <laughs> I think I have to give it to the blue corner. Yeah, me too. He landed the heavier shots. Yeah. And Boshilov appeared to be growing in confidence and working the timing out of Petier. Petier did land those uh, high kicks on the forearms. Yeah, the distance was short distance, so Boshilov He's kept, working kept him out, you think? A good distance, so, and I think he'll, he'll continue doing this. So here we go, third and final round of our... Very good fight, yes. European yes, yes. Championship Contest. Our champion, Atanas Boshilov from Bulgaria, fighting Samo Petje from Slovenia. And it's been a crazy pace. Absolutely non-stop action here in the Senshi ring. There's those long kicks again. And Petier came in close, he stepped back. Yeah, the left hook is all the time catching. catching. Oh, lovely left hook from Petier. And Boshilov is bleeding. Well, interesting. The referee is going to take a look at that, but uh, wow. I'm not sure it's that severe to stop it the looks fight. Like, looks like it looks like it's thick. <laughs> it's a thick cut. I can't quite see from here. It's above the eye, so we have to be concerned about the blood running into the eye and affecting the vision of Boshilov. But it's a third and final round. It's a, it's a European, European title, title contest. Yeah. So. so let's understand the level of this. And I've just noticed Samo Petier has Miran Fabian in his corner. 
the Slovenian Rocky, an absolute kickboxing legend. Yes. Yeah. And although he's a little bit of a maniac, he certainly is a fantastic fighter and someone incredible to have in the corner. Well, the doctor's taking his time here looking at this cut. It's unusual, Francisco, for them to treat the cut during a round. Mm. Yes. I would say yes to a bit of adrenaline and Vaseline in between rounds. They should, they should keep fighting but during the fight, this is like a run, another rest period. Let's go, guys. Yeah. Samo is going to smell blood when the fight recommences. And Boshilov is going to be... Well, what's he going to do? Doctor said no. But yeah, unfortunately. Oh my yes. goodness me! Well, it was a, a big cut. Yeah, I could see. I, I can't see. I'm not close enough to see how bad that is. Well, I don't know if yeah. I would agree with the yeah. stoppage, but who am I to say? It's a European title on one of the biggest platforms in the it world, so yeah, I would have let it carry on. It's the third and final it. round. When the injury is too dangerous for him to continue fighting, and I can see it right here, that is a very deep cut. Well, well, well. Yeah. This is what happens in fighting sports. Well, it anyway, was a great fight. Boshinov's going to be disappointed. I'm not sure Samo Petje would... Come on. Say that's how he'd want to win. However, a win is a win, and Petier now becomes the Senshi European champion at under 75 kilograms. And up to that point, what an incredible fight that was. Probably the best performance I've seen of Samo Petier. Wow. Well, absolutely incredible here tonight. We've seen fights go one way, then the other. Yeah, and probably the first round was to the red corner to Peche and the, the second round for Boshov. Yes, so absolutely. It even, they were even. So. And I wonder, I didn't That's see how long was how long was left in that round? Oh, Poss probably two minutes. Minute, two minutes, two okay. Minute, probably two minutes, I think. Well, Boshilov's corner are not disputing the stoppage, which is interesting. So that cut must be a lot deeper than I than I can see here. Yeah, yes, it is. Look at that. Yeah, that's yeah, that's over an inch long. Well, Petier is too exhausted at the moment to uh, show his. <laughs> is celebration of how happy he is. One of the most genuine guys in combat sports, Francisco. I've known right. him for years. Absolute solid guy. Never got a bad word to say about anyone. A true martial artist. Yeah, it actually looks like, yeah. And a genuine role model for anybody coming up from the next generation I of fighters. I want to see him more often. <laughs> well, we're definitely going to see him back now that he's got the belt and I'm I don't want to, uh, I haven't got a crystal ball, but I can see a rematch.